Hi, I'm Stefan Noll and welcome back to Visual Impact Cape Town. Today we're going to be testing the new Sony set of PLT2 uh, Cine Alta lenses. Okay, we have a range from a 20, a 25, a 35, a 50, a 85 and a 135. Um, just straight up on these, firstly, the ergonomics, ergonomics of the lens are really, really, really fantastic. They are made out of a metal housing. Um, the datum marks are really large and clear, marked in feet. Um, the actual focal selectors are geared. The basic, the, the length of the lens is all 120mm, uh, except for the 85 and the 135, which is a 135 and a 140mm in length. The front diameter is 114mm across, and there are nine leaves in the iris. Today's tests, I'm going to be comparing the Sony set of Cine Alta T2 PL lenses to the benchmark of lenses in the world, and that would be the Zeiss Ultra Prime. I'm going to also then compare them to the compact primes from Zeiss, the CP2s. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is to give, you an, give ourselves an idea, and you out there an idea, of what you can buy for $25,000, uh, the competitive lens product uh, in terms of pricing, and then against the benchmark being a Zeiss Ultra Prime. Okay, we are now in our test bench area and I'm going to be doing these specific lens tests on a Sony F5. As you'll notice, the Sony is actually mounted onto a plinth, which is bolted to the ground, so this is completely stable. Okay, I'll be using a color temperature of 3200 degrees um, and I will be shooting with the high definition test chart, uh, exposing my full grayscale ranges, as well as my sharpness chart, as well as um, giving me the grades for the lens. Um, I'm going to start with a 20mm, uh, which I'm going to now put onto the camera. The, please note one thing with this camera though, there are two different lock-offs. One being for the EZ mount and one being for the actual lens adapter mount, in this case being a PL. These mounts do come in various different mounts for Canon, Nikon, and then in future the Sony zooms which will plug in directly into the EZ mount. Okay, so be very wary that you do not unlock the wrong mount in this case being the easy mount that you actually unlock the peel. Okay, Tom. Thank you. Okay. Straight away, you'll see that the lock-offs on the Sony are really, really good. They feel very, very solid. I'm going to start my lens tests just about closed down on these lenses at a, a stop of 22 because I'm shooting at 1200 ISO. So I'm going to underexpose on this chart just to see um, what I'm getting and I will um, be shooting full frame. One of the handiest things about the Sony eyepiece, uh, the new Sony eyepiece, is that it really has an awesome a zoom function for checking your focus, which uh, remains in color and is very, very sharp. For the purpose of these tests, I'm actually going to kill all the ambient light. I've blocked off the light coming through the gear check bay here, uh, just so that we have a clean light source coming directly onto the chart. Okay, I shoot these tests at different stops, um, so that I can see the real properties of the lens. Um, uh, I want to see the, the true aspherics of the lens at the different iris settings, or the different stops in the lens. Okay, so. My tests on the 20mm now are going to be moving the chart back, uh, shooting the chart further away from the lens, uh, probably around the region of 8 foot. Um, I am then going to shoot this chart, uh, in, and in post-production I'm going to zoom in on the focal lines, and I hope to resolve the thousand line by punching in and seeing that the lens still resolves this. Okay, I'm about to start doing the next uh, phase of my testing, which is going to be comparing the Sony 25 to the Carl Zeiss Compact Prime CP2 25mm. All right, so that concludes my testing for today uh, on the Sony PL Cine Ultra T2 lenses uh, compared to the Zeiss CP2s and the Zeiss Ultra Primes. These tests will all be available in a couple of days for you on the net to download and peruse at your own discretion.